attention. Please let us have your attention. Alright, so first off, I know it's a bit of a cheesy question, but it's one I actually gotta ask. You're known as KO, aka Kidarachi, so could you explain which each one kind of means and why not particularly one name? Okay, basically I started off as Kidarachi, and I've always been Kidarachi because it's a name that I basically created myself from Kidda, originally from Liverpool, so basically I, I adapted the word Kidda and Rachi, made it a name that's always been me as well. KO is basically my initials, yeah. so that's always been my name as well. So KO, Kidda Rachi, it's evil, evil all, you know what I'm saying? I hear that. Yeah, but. So when did you move down to London? Which was from Liverpool? I moved to London like when I was around 10, 11. Okay, let's see. Yeah, so I've been, I've been here now like about. 11, 12 years. Cool, because there's no accent at all, is there, man? No, if there's a hint of it, you can still hear it if you listen close, but it's not really, I'm not a scout as I used to be, you know what I'm saying? I hear that, I hear that. So, what made you want to pick up the pen and start writing, get into the game? To be honest, I've always been into music since, uh, since I was young. Uh, my mum, my, my dad listened to music, reggae, soul, R&B. Always, always been around music, so kind of always had the influence uh, around me. And then when I got to a certain age, I just thought to myself, I just started writing lyrics. I started freestyling in the bedroom, <clears throat> basically just took me from there. Really. Yeah. You remember your first lyrics? Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a ring then, yeah. 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 I don't think I want to remember oh, that. <laughs> 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 Alright, so you got um, swag flu, innit? Yeah, I've got swag flu out there. There's a free download. Basically a three part series, it's swag flu, aura flu, trap flu. Basically I'm going to drop them all for free download. Um, all of these coming soon should be should be out before December the 25th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I drop I drop you all, um, swag through last year oh, on December the 25th. Yeah. Oh, man, so maybe I might just keep it like little pattern kind of. Thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Swag through is out now. It's featuring like G Fresh, Sincere, uh, Biggs, Euro Gang, J Money on there, ST, Hayes, like you got everyone that's someone in the UK doing their thing kind of reached out to and got them on there. Cool. So you recently, well, correct me if I'm wrong as well, and I see I'm going to sound like a bad DJ, but you recently moved <laughs> to the game as well. Was that your first mix CD? Um, no, it's not my first mix CD. I've done something in like 07 for Kid Arachi time, which kind of got slept on. Like if, 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 if you hear that, you'll hear I've still got the Liverpool accent more okay. when I was rapping then, but kind of took a break from the game for like two years and then I come back with Swag Crew. That was like my first serious thing that I actually pushed, and that's what, that's what kind of got me a bit of recognition, you know what I'm saying? So people think that that was my first project, but it actually wasn't. But that's the first thing that I've been serious with. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm to try to look out for that first one now, man. All right, so is there any kind of UK, like you said, you got a lot of features on there. Is there anyone in particular in the UK that you want to work with that you haven't worked with yet? Um, Unless producer or artist? To be honest, maybe a singer or something. I'm not really in terms of rap, because I've worked with like a lot of rappers as it is. So maybe like a singer or Mateo Cruz or something. Okay. But apart from that one, like, Alright, if I'm um, a bit of a, a off of random one, if you could only choose three tracks to listen to for the rest of your life, which three tracks are you would go for? Ooh. Deep question, right? <laughs> um, to be honest, I like J. Cole. J. Cole's got a song called yeah. Balance. Um, when I'm in the gym, I just listen to that song on repeat for like a whole hour, you know what I'm saying? So I could listen to that would be one of them. Um, two pack, probably. Um, me against the world and um, Jay Z. Um, have to be something off. There's a track on the Blueprint too. I can't remember what it's called, but um, we're talking about the whole Nas situation. Probably yeah. that one as well. The ambition in the game. What's your main ambition? Like, is it to get lots of money or have that recognition of just being able to say that's me, but not actually necessarily getting the money? What's your your main dream or objective for this? Like, to be honest, I come out hungry just to rap, really, to be honest, just for my passion for the music, you know what I'm saying? But obviously it's not really like, it doesn't make sense just, just rapping for the fun of it, you know what I'm saying? Obviously you've got to get paid for what you're doing. If you're going to take it serious as a profession, then obviously there needs to be some kind of money, you know what I'm saying? But So now I'm trying to look for more, trying to establish myself in the game as an artist, get songs out, radio, TV, more that kind of thing. But when I first came out, I was just, I was just happy just rapping to be honest with you. Yeah, I hear that. Alright, Mr. 13. 
Yeah, I was just wondering, kind of thing, the difference between like the Liverpool and the London. First of all, just like in general, and then like the scene. Like obviously, because you, when you came down there, like what what did you see London as? Like from an outsider, I've never seen London as an outsider. So it's just like wondering how you saw London when you first came here and how you felt. You know what I'm saying? When you first, you know what I mean, turned up yeah, yeah, as, a, yeah. as a scouser. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, to be honest, when I was young, I used to come to London a lot. Okay. Like every summer holidays, I used to come to London. Isn't it? So it's like I, it wasn't like I just came one day and it was all brand new to me, you know what I'm saying? But when I did first when I first came it was it was different. Just going to school and stuff, like the way people are down in London is completely different to the Liverpool, the way they socialise, the way they communicate, everything's different. So it's like at first it was a bit of a culture shock. Now I don't think I've been in a, a big city where people are the way they are. But after a while I've kind of got used to it to be honest with you, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah like Liverpool's completely different. Everyone's friendly, like everyone's like like you can get in a cab, the guy will have like a 15 minute conversation with you, he doesn't even know you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like everyone's just friendly down there, whereas in London everyone's more like, oh I don't know him, and yeah, let me keep myself to myself, and no one really wants to be friendly and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 as far as like the scene goes, like, what, what was the differences there? Like, Was there anything popping up in Liverpool, or, you know what I mean? Obviously like London's the capital, isn't it? So yeah. obviously most things are going on down here, mm. there's a couple of things happening in Liverpool but it's nothing really yeah. now it's changed now today yeah, yeah. it's different but back then when I first moved it was completely different you know what I'm saying? but yeah man it's, it's two different scenes in it London's the capital so two different things completely you know what I'm saying yeah definitely yeah. man yeah no it's good to hear it from from that point of view man definitely so yeah obviously you've been doing your thing for a minute now like Obviously Bonesy asked you about your ambition, is there any like venue bro that you like to perform at? You know what I'm saying? Anywhere in the world, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to shut down Wembley Arena, huh? Yeah, yeah I'm I've heard that one. Like what, what, the stadium or the arena though? Both. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same Both. time, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, shit. I'm feeling that one up. All right, definitely. So yeah, man, obviously in the American side of things, like you talked about J. Cole and stuff like that, like this artist coming through. Is there anyone else like you feel like it's coming through right now that's, you know what I'm saying, that you're listening to? Um, UK or I like, US? I like J. Cole, to be honest. I like, like Waka Flocka. Yeah, he's not, he's not, he's not lyrical, he's, you, can't, you can't compare him to J. Cole, but I like what he's doing. Um, <laughs> I like what Young Money are doing, Tiger, that whole little camp there. Alright. Yeah, like, a couple, couple things I'm feeling, but I try not to indulge too much in it. Because right. you can kind of, if you're trying to create music, you can get, you can get lost yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah, you start yeah. sounding like someone, someone else. Someone else, I hear that. What like, what do you think of the state of hip hop itself, though, right now? You know, a lot of people would say like, you people talking about hip hop's dead and this, that, the other, and the auto tune or whatever, this, that, the other. To be honest, obviously, hip hop's a business as well. Like, obviously, everyone would like to just rap just for the fun of it, but if you're not getting paid from it, then there's no point in doing it. So I just think that obviously now the way it's like obviously it's 2010, like the way the games change now, people that are buying the music are not the people that were buying the music back then. So so it's like to be honest, obviously any, anything needs to change in order for it to grow in it. So I think the change is good. Um, whether it's what I'm trying to do or the direction I'm trying to go in, maybe not so much auto tuning and pop star stuff. But yeah. to be honest, I think any kind of change is good because nothing can stay the same. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Yeah, yeah, everything can change. Yeah. So what would be like your biggest pleasure and pain in the game, bro? In, in the you know what I'm saying? In the UK, the game you're coming up in, man. You know what I'm saying? Your biggest high and low. To be honest, it's not an easy game, isn't it? Like, mm. there's so many different rappers that are all doing their thing. Everyone's on a thing of, oh, I rap, I'm better than you, or my friend's, my friend's better than you, or he's more real. So it's like, all of that kind of stuff, stupid. Like, I just think if, if you're trying to come out as an artist, you just gotta work hard, you gotta be focused, you gotta know what you wanna do, and you gotta do it, basically, you know what I'm saying? And that's, that's it, really. That's, that's what I'm What would be, like, your biggest, like, high that keeps you going doing this thing, like, the biggest high, like, keeps like, you... You know what I mean, grinding. When I, when, I, when I switch on the radio, I hear myself getting spins on one extra or something, or people will hit me up, oh, see what you're doing, or people I ain't seen for a long time, like, oh, I've been seeing you on YouTube. Mm. It's like, yeah, obviously it shows that what I'm doing is kind of getting out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that kind of keeps me going as well. All right, definitely, man.